episode of Multi. What? <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> Um, (laughs) Today we have myself, Brian, a.k.a. B. Hearn. I must break you. Brian Saber. Cleveland! This is for you! Captain Cleveland, Browns, Cavs, Indians. Normally, I say something else after that. But I can't say it anymore. So I'm going to say, Cleveland is the city that I come from. So run, run. <laughs> good win. Good win for your Browns on Thursday. How good? Hmm. Okay, my name's Matthew. Now let's get into this. He's too Mateo. Why can't you say that anymore? We'll get into it. Why can't you say Why can't you say I would. Brian and I were talking amongst ourselves and yeah. said, you should have been doing that from the start. That we, should have, that should have been yeah. the quote. Well, till I die. <laughs> so you, from so the land. Yes. So you want to go ahead <laughs> Today's and episode, um, you know, we're going to be talking about uh, the MGK, Eminem beef, as well as, you know, covering some past beefs or whatnot. So we're going to kick it off with uh, our man Sabretooth, his idea for this wonderful podcast today. So we're going to let, let the man. Oh, oh you want it. me to go first? Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. I got lots to yeah. say. So let's do it. it. The, the, the first thing I'll say is this. I was, I was out of town. I told these guys I was out of town. For work all week, I was on the West Coast, and I took a, a red eye back, uh, got in my bed at about 8 o'clock Thursday morning, and uh, kind of woke up at about 1 o'clock on Thursday afternoon, and I'd, I'd been running, running, running for work, so I'd, I hadn't really been paying attention to what was going on in real with, time. with the digital right. chatter. Uh, right. The digital chatter is immense, so I, uh, I sent B her actually I sent Mateo, uh, a text first. I just said, man, we gotta get the commission together. We have to. Uh, <laughs> we gotta strike while the iron's hot on this. So uh, yeah, we're gonna give you text. guys. We're gonna give you guys what you want. So the first thing I'm gonna say is this. I'm gonna go micro to macro. I got a lot to say. I got plenty of pages of notes on this. I want to start small and I want to go big. I told Brian today that um, I sort of have a big picture conspiracy theory on this. But we'll get to that in a minute. X Files. I can. <laughs> so so I can so from a micro standpoint, obviously, I am from Cleveland. I am Captain Cleveland. B. Hearn gave me that nickname because he's probably never seen anybody rep a city as hard. That's true. As I rep mine. But true. I will say this: that does not impact any of what I'm about to say. <laughs> Non-biased opinion, I like. I that. will start by saying that I think that Machine Gun Kelly is an opportunist. Mm-hmm. I think that aren't we all? Yes, I I, I agree with that. That's a different podcast. Go ahead. That's a different <laughs> podcast. I think I, I think he, he 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 saw an opportunity and he went for it. Now, yeah. with that being said, <laughs> young man, there's there's people that you go after and there's people that you don't. I will say this: I thought I thought Rap Devil was okay. I'll give it a B minus. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, the one thing that I'll say: I thought it was I thought it was a shitty song. Right, right. Like it wasn't a good song. No. Um, I thought he was, you know, complimentary to him at times. <laughs> yeah, calling him the greatest rapper alive right. and the goat. Um, but you know, I a lot thought of it compliments was, for this song. Sure, I thought it was clever and cute, though. I mean, and I do say cute, and I mean that in the, in the way that you think I do. It was cute. <laughs> you know, he called him old. He called him short. Um, you know, he kind of. It's like middle school jazz. He rich shamed him a little bit in there, <laughs> right. which, which you know, it was funny. But um, honestly, I, I didn't think I was going to come back. I really didn't. Uh, I watched all the Sway stuff, mm-hmm. you know, the interviews with Sway, and he just kind of talked about, like, you know, I can't come back at it. Because Sway told him, he's like, you're going to get hit for the stuff on Kamikaze. You know, I still expect fully that Joe Budden's probably going to come back at him at some point Ooh. and say something uh, and those types of things. But I just – I did not think that Eminem was going to come back at Machine Gun Kelly because uh, I wouldn't have. Right. Um, Why make them famous at your expense? You know, not to not to quote Game of Thrones, that but... That was his whole beef, like, internally. Right. Exactly. That he yeah. didn't want to yeah. make him bigger. Yeah. Right. Not to, not to quote Game of Thrones too hard, but lions aren't concerned with the thoughts of lambs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's the bottom line. But, but M did come back. And honestly... Uh, I think the whole thing was calculated, uh, and I will get into that a little bit Between more. Between the two parties? No. 
No, 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 no. Okay. I think it was all calculated. Because that's definitely this, happened and, and it goes, I, I will get into it more, but I think 50's involved in this. Uh, I think Dre's involved with this, and I think it's a big, I think it's a big picture thing. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it was calculated, and I think MGK is just a sacrificial, sacrificial lamb. And we'll mm-hmm. get into that from a micro perspective. Um, I think MGK got slaughtered. You used the word slaughter when, when we were off the air. I have that written down right there. <laughs> and, and honestly, don't I, I don't really think it's open me. for discussion. I think if you're under 25, I think you have the ability, the opinion. Uh, you're allowed to, to like MGK because he's you know a younger rapper. But the reality is this. Anybody who's over the age of 25 that knows what real hip-hop is, that was around for the golden age of hip-hop, mm-hmm. should know that... Um, you know, Eminem's one of the greatest, and it was a mistake for MGK to even go in on him like that. He used Charlemagne in the Breakfast Club as a platform. Yeah. Um, Don't you we know, all? <laughs> to, 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 like, try to clap back at him after, after Kill Shot. And it was, it's funny because, you know, he, he tried to marginalize everything that Eminem said. And, and I think he's completely out of, out of touch with reality. First mm-hmm. of all, I'll say this. M hit Charlemagne on Kamikaze. Charlemagne doesn't like Eminem to begin with. Yep. He called him the donkey of the day with when the last album came out. Um, so it was it was obviously an opportunity for MGK to get on there and kind of do what he wanted to. He's completely out of touch with reality. He called Kill Shot a leg shot. And he the, the two things that he touched on, he's like, a man bun, a man bun. Come on. First of all, the man bun shit wasn't, if I had to make a list of the top 50 <laughs> things that M said in that song, right. the man bun wouldn't be one of them. Right. He's like, he called me a mumble rapper. I'm an actor, dog. That's, this is the shit that MGK was saying on right. Charlemagne on The Breakfast Club. Like, Angela Yee, like, I understand she, Eminem is her boss. Sure. She works on Shade 45. But she was even just like, come on, man, M- Eminem's a lyricist. So, right. And just because you you're an actor doesn't mean you're a good actor. No, and, 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 for, and Eminem's won, he won a fucking Oscar, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I get it; it was for the soundtrack. But Eight right. Miles, one of the best hip hop movies ever. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, he called Kill Shot a six. I think it was a ten, probably a nine and a half. I'll give it a nine and a half. And I see Matt over there. I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. You have got to. Um, we'll, we'll get into we'll get into all of it, but to call it a, a six. I'm just like, really, son? The, yeah. the mumble rap and the man bun shit, like, that's the best you can do. Right. Um, the bottom line, let's not even talk about the flow because when M gets in the pocket in that song, it's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. He's just, he's, he's riding the beat like he always does. And let's not even talk about that Rap Devil's a shitty song. And that killed and that kill shot. It's a diss track. Let's just talk about the facts. Let's talk about it. All right. <laughs> In the first thirty seconds of that song, Eminem has completely clowned him and flipped the script. What does he say at the beginning? He's like, he's like, you sound like a bitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as I heard that when it came on, I'm just like, oh my god! Like this dude is about to eight mile him, right? You know, like lickety He was just getting shot, warm. Split, split, yeah, he was just getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, in the stand shit, I mean, in the first 30 seconds, he, he kind of comes back at him with the beard, the weird beard. You look like a bitch, bitch, and all that. And then he just hits him with, I signed it, and I put it on a starter cap. And as soon as he said that, mm-hmm. stand, stand, son, man, dad's not man. Like, he just completely <laughs> takes everything that, from that point on, it's just like, all right, this dude has... Um, Completely flipped it on him. Mm-hmm. Let me turn the page. Please. <laughs> We're gonna before we get into more of what Eminem said, I want I want to give a couple of facts. Cause that's what Kelly was saying on uh on the Breakfast Club. He's like, let's talk about the facts, answer the facts. It took Eminem 13 minutes to write Kill Shot. He was in the studio for an hour. So he has part two, part three, he has more, but it took him 13 minutes to write Kill Shot. The movie Kill Shot that came out in 2008, the main character's name is Coulson. Coulson is Machine Gun Kelly's government name. Mm. Coulson in the movie Kill Shot's being hunted down by a a, a maniacal, deranged serial killer. He said in Rap Devil that the the real Slim Shady was so old and he couldn't stand up. Well, let me tell you, son, he did stand up. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> uh, 
The fact is, is that what Eminem did to him is mind blowing, and we're and we're gonna get into a few things that he said. One called an Interscope and your Swayze. For all the people out here that know who Swayze is, he was a bum rapper in the mid two thousands that had one hit. Basically, what Eminem's saying is, if I want to, I call Jimmy Iovine, your career's over. He doesn't have to call Jimmy Iovine. I was he, wondering what happened to Swayze. He, yeah, that Eminem. Corona <laughs> line, that, you, that, yeah, that dude, <laughs> okay, I was like, whatever did happen to him? Well, now I know. <laughs> the next line. With your corny ass lines. Ow, Kelly. Ooh. I'm 45 and I'm still out selling you. Mm. Right? You're yeah. old. He comes back at him with all the old shit. You're a fucking molehill. I'm going to make a mountain out of you. That's the shit where he's saying, look, you're small. But by me putting your name out there, you're big. Gunner, bitch, you ain't a bow and arrow. Playing dead, that's the only time you hold steel. He says it still, but you know how M. Burns word, or Ben's words. So what he's saying is you call yourself a gunner. You ain't nothing but a bow and arrow. And the only time that you hold steel is when you're playing dead. The shit that Eminem comes out with, the, the shit that comes out of his mouth goes over so many people's heads. Younger me? No. You're the whack me. I'd rather be 80-year-old me than 20-year-old you. I love that line. What else do I want to talk about? I got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff. Got the, got the Diddy okay, so you spent your whole day shooting a video just to dig your own grave? He's like, yo, Diddy said it was okay. You spent the whole day, and that video is whack as fuck, dude. No, he's, he's eating he's fucking on tour, cereal. cereal. Yeah, like, he's got the shovel. The bullshit. shovel's the only prop in the, the cereal. <laughs> yo, it's fucking terrible, and that's the first Diddy reference, and we will get into you, Sean Combs, more. <laughs> Government named him. Now, here's when it really got interesting. And, and, and I'm not going to get into the exact words because I think that the fact that if we kind of just talk about it amongst ourselves, he said, you ain't on a list, man. You ain't on a list with, with Bigger J like I am. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you're not even on a list with Taylor Swift. <laughs> but you know what list you are on now? You're on the one with Ja, and you're on the one with motherfucking Benzino. Because yeah. those are the other careers that I've ended, that we've ended, with my, my, that my crew has ended. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. And I would add cannabis to that list, too. Ja, Benzino, cannabis, MGK. No, I that's, would give that's, cannabis to LL. Well, no, no, yeah. but I'm saying the list that's been ended, careers that have been ended by diss tracks. Oh, gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I would add yeah. cannabis to that list, too. I know, I, I mean, LL... Yeah, exactly. But that's that's mm. the point. Um, my biggest flops are your greatest hits. Um, it's your moment. This is it. This is as big as you're going to get. I mean, he just told him. Now, the one... <laughs> so he called him short and shit. He's like, you're 5'8", and I'm like 6'4". And Em's like, if I was 3'11", you'd still be looking up to me. Mm -hmm. And for the record, you'd suck a dick to be me for a second. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, you'd lick, a, you'd lick a ball sack to get on my channel. <laughs> Um, and then obviously the kicker, the line that everybody's talking about, not even directed at MGK. Right. The second Diddy reference. Uh, you know, the next time you have a hit will be the you know same time that Pac admits that he or that Diddy admits that he put out the hit that got Pac killed. Where I want to go with this is I'm done with MGK. He's fucking done. His career's over. Eminem killed him, and he didn't even come that hard at him. This is all. I have a I have a, a theory, a conspiracy theory. This was all about Diddy from the beginning. And they used MGK as the sacrificial lamb. 50 went on the Breakfast Club in January mm -hmm. and called Puffy gay and mm -hmm. accused him of being gay in the industry. And then he came back and was talking all this shit and da-da-da-da-da. On Kamikaze, there was, there was three people... There was three people that Eminem called out. Charlemagne, Joe Budden, and MGK. All Diddy properties. All Diddy properties. Charlemagne is less Diddy property. The only thing that makes Charlemagne Diddy property is Revolt TV that does the video for The Breakfast, Breakfast Club, Club. But, but Diddy owns that. Mm -hmm. I think this is all East Coast, West Coast fallout, man. I think this is something that's been brewing for years. Mm -hmm. I think that this is, this, is, this is a continuation of everything that's happened uh, over the past. It's, it's, even though M's from Detroit, he's, Jimmy Iovine lives in California. Dre obviously still lives in California. Yep. 50 doesn't live in New York anymore. He lives out in California. I just think that this was all 
very, very calculated by Dr. Dre. And it's a stretch, and I see you looking at me, but it just feels like they were going at Diddy, and it feels like for a long time, people have always kind of whispered that Diddy was the one that put right. the hit out. If you watch The Defiant Ones, yep. Pu- he, Puffy's yeah, got to stop He gets talking, real quiet about it. Got to stop talking. I feel like they, they, they purposely... Um, baited MGK because they knew he'd be the one stupid enough to come back at Eminem. Right. He's the one that needed to come back at Eminem to, to get his career whatever. I mean, the dude's a fucking mumble rapper with a man button. That's all I got to say. But I think that there, there's a whole East Coast, West Coast thing that's happening here, and I think it's going to get bigger. I think Joe Budden's going to come back at Eminem at some point. I think 50's going to get involved. You know, obviously, I don't think there's going to be any assassinations or... <laughs> Hopefully it's, not. It's, we don't want anyone to die. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not but uh, I, think it was, I think it was very calculated by, by the higher-ups at Interscope, specifically Dr. Dre, and Eminem, I think they they the whole the whole motivation behind this was was to get Diddy to stick his head out there. Joe Budden came back on his podcast earlier this week and said that he talked to Puff, and Puff said that you know he's going to handle Eminem. Uh, ba 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 behind the scenes, he's going to do it in a business fashion. On uh, Friday night on Instagram, Puff posted a picture with him, Jay Z, Nas. Um, Somebody else, Beyonce. Somebody else was in there. Him, Jay Z, and it said "Mob Ties" in the, in the, in the, in the caption. So I think this thing could get. Uh, I think Jay Z is obviously going to keep his stay out of it oh, because yeah. you know he don't he even got nothing to gain Jay, from it. But here's the thing: like Jay don't even get involved when Kanye talks shit. You know, like, <laughs> right. like I, I just I, I don't think Jay's going to get involved. But I think what Diddy's trying to do is he's trying to position himself and try to make make the whole industry think that people are on his side. I right. think he's trying to bully the bully, and it's not it's not going to work. So so we'll see. Stay tuned. That's all I got. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm that's all? Sorry. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I did, I did, no, no, no. I that's did, good. I did, I did that's more. good. I did that's good. More. I mean, no, no. Keep no, it I mean, out, man. I, had a lot I like to, it. I had a lot to say. And now, a word from our sponsors. We'd like to take the time to thank one of our sponsors, Andrew Newman, attorney at law. Located here in Greensboro, North Carolina, he can assist you with your criminal as well as traffic violations. And his practice includes Guilford, Forsyth, as well as all surrounding counties. To set up a free consultation, you can contact him at 336-663-2388. And you can also visit him on his website, attorneynewman.com. I like it. And the, uh, Matthew, the, you the, the more again? you said, like the, the number, the percentage of mm-hmm. which I was agreeing with you went down. I, down I figured down that. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I wanted you here. It's, it's, it's only because you you're not giving... MGK any credit no. and I'm probably going to catch hell for it <laughs> you got I mean I'm not it's not even about your city or anything like that right. I'm saying he had the balls to do that right whether it was calculated or not right like even if he wrote that shit up that, that's some Ozark shit like yeah he did that yeah mm-hmm. not he, only he did he do it him. he did it with authority right and he doesn't give a fuck like right. he he owns it now yeah he's the he's the mumble rapper that got at Eminem with, yeah. a, with a man and right. and all the rest of them and it wasn't out. shitty like it's not a shitty diss it's a B minus yeah it's not great but it's it ain't not great terrible. but yeah I've definitely the delivery heard the worse. cadence all that shit like like the he's shit, like making Tekashi people take notice does. but they're saying yeah. he wrote that shit like a year ago but didn't Who? MGK yeah oh didn't know that he's trying to make it sound like he just went to some booth on on, on like tour, on tour right it? okay no, that shit's already. Look, okay. he's trying to control some narratives. Does that, that make really it exists. any less? Dope? I think he. Ex- like I think he wanted Eminem. He talked shit about Eminem's sixteen-year-old daughter in a sexual way, like six years ago. Yeah. This this is something that he's wanted to happen for a long time, and Eminem finally said something. And he was prepared for it. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I, I hear you, man. Listen, that's why I can't say I can't say C L E till I die. Because I don't agree <laughs> you with, can, I you can, can, and you should. No, you should. Man. You can, I, and you I should. Love that you celebrate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when then the me and Brian saw drawn, this kid baby. live. Yeah. We and saw when he live. did that song, yeah. <laughs> the whole hype. place was. Yo, yeah. It does. And it's like, a great track. What is yeah, happening is right now? This is. Yeah. We downloaded it and played it when we left. Yeah. Just inflated my chest. I mean, yeah, you get you get hyped, but. He's he's more of like a punk rock rapper, and that's fine. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Who else is getting at them? Right. Who else would? Right. And I mean, well, on top of all I think, the people I think that he were gonna get, I think he's going to get all he wants from Joe Budden. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I, was, I, and I yeah. like Joe Budden. And, I, you know, I do, too. And wasn't, I thought Joe Budden was on Shady's label. He was. So when did he that fall? Like, when did that fall out? Slaughterhouse. Yeah, the Slaughterhouse. Um, disbanded. Yeah. Okay. Because Crooked Eye wasn't going to. Right, because it was, it was Joe Budden. It was Yellow Wolf. Yep. A couple other dudes were on there. Of course, Royce 5'9". Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I don't oh, know. Joel Ortiz. Yeah, but that's the yeah. other thing, too, man. Like, I don't think people want Royce to get involved in this shit because Royce can spit, too, man. Yeah, well, what's his name? The dude Joyner on that one track. Joyner Lucas. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. ready. He's like, anybody that comes oh, at him, yeah. he's, he got him yeah. on the, you know, he's like, your back. He's protected. He's ready to go. And I get <laughs> I wouldn't say that. No, I get that. Like, you're, you're, I knew you No, you totally fanboyed that. just now for, like, good, good 12 Yo, <laughs> so, I mean, M's in my, M's in my top five. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And I get it. Yeah. And I get it. Yeah. Like, I want to hear your I, thoughts. I'm saying it's not as one-sided as, you, as you're saying it is. I'll, I'll give the dude credit. Just like Matthew said, he's got balls for doing it. You know, out of all the rappers that he disses, which he disses a lot of people. I got a list here. He just, you know, obviously Joe Budden, Vince Staples, Lil Yachty, Lil Pump, Lil Xan, all these other mumble rappers. Oh, yeah, the little, None of these dudes pump. are going to clap back. A mm. lot of them thought it was like they were blessed that they said his name. He was like, even yeah. though, what's his name? Uh, Lil Yachty was like, he, he put on Twitter laughing my ass off. I fuck with Eminem. After Eminem <laughs> just straight up dissed him. Like, these guys aren't no, going to clap smart. back. <laughs> uh, exactly. They're smart. So I got to give MGK credit because, you know, he, what, what does he have to lose? That's the thing. I mean, I don't think his career's over. Mm. But at the same time, though, when he's like, if, he, if Eminem comes back to me, <laughs> I'm just, I'll be even more famous than I am now. Which, I mean, granted, he's not hugely it's a famous win-win. by any means. It's a win-win. Bow right. and arrow, if Kelly. Eminem yeah, right. doesn't come back to Adam. Right. He's the guy who shut Eminem up. Right. Right, so M had to clap. Hold up, right? I I know that I had my time. I just want (laughs) to say one more thing. When he was on the Breakfast Club, he was like, when they were talking to him about Killshot, he's like, "Yo, I got another clip ready to go, but I, but Killshot was a six, so I just put it back in the holster." Like this dude, like he is so out of fucking touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I do agree with you one hundred percent. Yes, I get that. You know, as most, uh, but you would have to be generation. You would have to be if you're gonna go. Yeah, and I mean, look at these, look at these guys, right? And he's the only one I think just really crazy enough to do it. Because if you look at you know the Takashi Six Nines and all these fucking bums That's the out dude there, that wears the the, 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 fruit the loops, rainbow the hair, fruit loops right? teeth, and he's got the jigsaw tattooed on his yeah. face. You know, you got these bums out there making money. I think you played him. In uh, your yeah, and no, you in the no, detail no, fake news, fake news, right there. Hell no, I no little pump, the no fuck little out guy, of that gummo that. shit though. But um, you know, uh, I like Takashi. Yeah. No. Okay, good. I do. <laughs> do you I, I, I was like, like instantly judging? That's fine. <laughs> Side question. Do you like any rapper besides Wayne that has Lil in his first name? <laughs> <laughs> I like Lil C's back in the day. I do like him. Yeah. <laughs> can't, can't, can't give up on Lil C's. Let's see. Lil C's, Lil Wayne. The, mm. Is there any little <laughs> little mo, little scrappy, <laughs> little scrappy, little scrappy? Okay, KK. Wasn't was it Bow Wow, Lil Bow Wow? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. L- LB Dub, <laughs> Lil L-B-Dub. Lil Flip. I respect Lil, Lil Flip. Lil Flip game, game over. over. That was a track. I, I, right. I fuck good. Like yeah. he's talented. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Houston. Houston. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So That's right. I had to think about that, but I don't think there's anything past that. <laughs> I will say, and I'm probably man. I'm, I got to be careful. With it. <laughs> Can we say Kid Cudi because he's. Kid, and then, <laughs> and then I can no, see you making. That's right. But I do like that new shit with uh, with Lil Pump and uh, with Kanye. Kanye. I haven't even seen all I've seen is clips of the video. Yeah. I haven't heard the song yet. So the I, video so looks it's okay. ridiculous. It's, we but all I have don't our, like it because right. of Lil Pump. Right. I like it because Kanye is a fucking because genius. it's catchy. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. I haven't heard you, it yet. I'm not looking forward like, to it. I don't, I, I, <laughs> and like, that's fine. Like when yeah. they were talking about that, we all song, have guilty pleasures. Like, like Lil Pump didn't come to Kanye and be like, "I got this idea." Like, let's go. like it was Kanye going, "Look, man, we can do this Rob Lock shit. We can do you know talking about people being hoes and shit. You know that you can tell that was total fucking Kanye. Right. So. One hundred percent. And what's he gonna do? Say no to Kanye? No, you say yes. <laughs> you say yes to Kanye. You say yes to Kanye, even when he's crazy. So you know, back to what we were talking about, just kind of reading up on some of this today. So I was looking at this article from USA Today. And the headline, literally, and I quote, is MGK cashes in on Eminem feud with terrible EP uh, binge. And then they go on to say, uh, in quotes here, it's the album's lyrical elements that make binge. Um, sound like a tra- uh, 
uh, sound less like a Travis Scott album and more like a Weird Al project. Oh, damn. I mean, they you got go, USA who, Today, the whitest shit on the planet. Weird Al Yankovic, <laughs> Yeah, for his damn new EP Coulson. that came out. Wow. <laughs> so that I, I found pretty funny, you know, uh, as far as... Uh, just kind of reading in on some of this. I mean, the conspiracy thing, I like what you said. I definitely have not heard that theory. I thought it was going to be more, you know, Interscope, because they're both on Interscope, just trying to sell more records, almost kind of on some Cannabis LL shit, which we'll get into a little bit of that later, where, you know, it's kind of a setup or whatnot from Wyclef. That was really my, you know, quote-unquote conspiracy theory, is just to get more sales on like, both ends. I felt like they wanted to come at Diddy. I feel like they've been wanting to come at Diddy for right. a long time. Which, I mean, I would, I would kind of I just think it. this white boy got balls. <laughs> right, and I appreciate it. Webbles, Colson, <laughs> man, man bun, Colson, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate the idea of what he did. Listen, right. I, 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 I'm not saying yeah. it's the smartest thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna give the guy a pat on the back and be like, oh, you dumb. You're all, you're you all did about that? lyrics. Tell me what you thought lyrically about about each song, because I know you've listened to them. Yeah, I did listen. I did listen to them. M- like Eminem, I didn't even have to worry about. Like, right. I, just, I, yeah, right. I already knew right. how that was going to happen. This is like, a sparring what was match. The, how that was going to go. Right. Like that's. I mean, you knew he was going to stand that motherfucker. Yeah. But as far as MGK goes, like, I appreciate that flow. Right. I appreciate. You could tell that was rhymes. the best shit he's ever written in his life. Yes. Now, was it the greatest shit I've ever heard in my ears? No, not by any means. But you could tell that's him at his best. Yes. Which is at best Eminem's like shittiest day. You know, let's just say that. The biggest flops are your greatest hits. <laughs> right. So. Okay. Yeah, that's I get it. I'm just saying, it. I don't. You would you, suck you a gotta dick give, to be me. You got to give credit for where one it's due. Second. The kid stepped yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. That's the kid, it. That's all the you kid got. stepped up. I mean, yeah, I'm not going line for line like you. I mean, right? I didn't go line for line. <laughs> I called out my favorite right. shit because I wanted to be honest. Well, I, I mean, to me, I think he complimented him more than he really dissed him, anyways. On but the that's track. okay. You know, but. Right? That's. Yeah, I think, I think if you're going after someone, you, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm salty as hell. <laughs> if I'm coming after you, I'm not going to be like, I like you. <laughs> you know who's making you in the face. Yeah, I mean, that's just you, me. You don't do either the first shot. You don't either the first shot. But it was. Yeah. Ether, well, Ether was no. the comeback to yeah. right. The Takeover. Right. Yes. yes. Which was a comeback from another Nas disc. Like, a, no, Nas this Jay Z first. Mm-hmm. I know you're listening to us. And then he did the. Lay. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. Okay, so <laughs> for the record, are I'm going to say that Ether uh, won. Are we uh, done? Yeah. Are we done with. Are we moving on? Before we move are on, we I do want to say I, I found the, the funniest we are, quote. We are going to get into that. <laughs> on Vulture.com, they had in quotes the longest day in vanilla rap history. <laughs> <laughs> August 31st. Yeah. So, you know, of course, M drops Kamikaze. g Easy disses uh, MGK on the Bad Boy that song. That shit was trash. Yeah. Yeah. And then MGK does a freestyle on Hot 97. I just love the fact that they did, in quotations, the longest day in vanilla rap history. <laughs> so shout out to Vulture.com for that. <laughs> White people, yeah. <laughs> white people be shocked. Easy should have just kept his. All, look, G didn't. He didn't have to say nothing. That was more M about. Just said because Young what, Gerald's Halsey? balls deep in Halsey. <laughs> right? He's like, you mad because Young Gerald's right. balls? And deep apparently, in Halsey. Halsey's, according to her, she's never slept with MGK. Well, MGK he, says that they have slept together. All, I mean, he just said, yeah, look, "That's I'm all dumb shit." Saying nothing. Good. Right? And, the then, and then Charlemagne's like, "Did you smash?" And he's like, "Of course." <laughs> like, his reaction was like, it was very. Honest, I could tell that he is definitely smashed. <laughs> <laughs> I've been involved in those conversations. Wow, all right. I think we all have. When somebody I responds and you know they're lying. You know. And Charlamagne will call you out, too. I He'll think, smell that bullshit out of you. Know, I think Colson was telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. I like how you're going with Dude, Colson. Guys, I can't <laughs> stop thinking of Agent Colston. Well, that's, it was on pur- it's on purpose. <laughs> So as far as, you know, past beefs, because, I mean, mm-hmm. obviously the three of us are, mm-hmm. are gigantic hip-hop fans. I mean, we've had beefs going on since uh, the Bridge Wars, you know, Boogie Down Productions versus MC Shan, and, uh, you know, through the years, Pac, Biggie, the whole nine yards. I mean, to me, battling and, and uh, you know, hip-hop beefs are part of the culture, you know, plain and, and simple. And it's back. And it's back. And, I mean, to me, it's good to see it back. I mean, we've, we've definitely had our conversations to where – we, you know, we're getting sick of the mumble rappers and, and this, that, and the other. And we'd like to see some more originality come back into hip-hop. 
And uh, I mean, not that I'm one for any, you know, promoting violence, but lyrically, yes, go at it. <laughs> go at it and beat each other up all day long. I'd love to hear it. The battle is a lost art in hip hop. Exactly. It has been lost, you know, with all the hoes and the bitches and the chains and the money and the rides <laughs> and the whips and all that shit. It's gone because, yeah. you know, if you go back and even, you know, the reference when we did our our top list, you know, I talked about one of the things with like Rakim is like mm -hmm. the bravado, right? Yeah. The bravado isn't what it once was. And the, right. bra the bravado is what leads to the battle. Yeah. I am better than you. Yep. Um, so to see, you know, obviously this year with Push and, and Drake and, mm -hmm. and, and now this, you know, it, it just, it gives me hope that we're going to see. Um, That's why I said Slaughter. Yeah, <laughs> but, you, but you said it, and yeah. I was like, "Damn it, he used my word," <laughs> and I, I no couldn't come up it. with it. It's good. it's good to see it back, though, for yeah. sure. That's what, yeah. Oh, push a T. So, as far as you know, yeah. some of your favorite. As far as you can either do tracks or just you know, kind of battles all together. Like, we'll, well I'll, I'll I'll say one, and then you can say what you were going to say earlier. Okay, so. Um, the Ripper Strikes Back, yeah, mm -hmm. LL Cool J, yeah. mm -hmm. is probably my favorite battle song. Okay, from beginning to end, right. I really yeah. enjoyed the Cannabis and I LL Field. I thought they, I, I thought they both came really hard. Cannabis came with the. The round two or whatever. Yeah, he, it was. was that the one with Mike, Ty was that right, the one with Mike Tyson? Yes, yes. yes e it is. E E M C. It's like that <laughs> shit was hard as fuck, man. Yeah. And then, you know, L, L hit him back. And obviously, Cannabis didn't do much after that. No. He's, he's no, he Canada, couldn't. Yeah, he's he couldn't. But that was, that was a good one. I'll give you that for sure. That's like, it was like unequivocally, you know who won that shit. Right. Hands down. Right. It wasn't a question. And it was good to see like, LL. Team, you know, hands down that. won that shit. Oh, yeah. The interesting thing about that battle is it started on a song that they were on together. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like, it was, oh, what, the LL three, shit. Four, well, I mean, one, three, two, one. one. That, I ripped the mic off y'all. Yeah, I ripped the yeah. mic off. And I was yeah. like, what, bitch? No, 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 no. He took that real personal. No, no. Well, because LL told him, he, he, yeah, he, told he, him he approached go back in the studio. LL yeah. and said, I got this line, I'm going to rip the mic off your arm, blah, blah, blah. And can I say that? And he said, Hell no. Yeah. And he said it anyway. They were beefing already. I thought, yeah. like, they, they weren't okay. really cool okay. yeah. at that point. Yeah. Um, and he took them off and, the song and only had them on the remix. And LL was like, let's get this money. Let's yeah. do this song. Yeah. Worry about that other shit later. Right. We can do that. Yeah. Just, just let's do it like this. All right. Cannabis didn't understand <laughs> the, the ways of the OG. Nope. <laughs> and so he's he paid, his, he young paid the price. So, he, so he's never become one. <laughs> <laughs> he paid the price. He's a, oh, but no that G. That is a good one. He's sleeping with <laughs> the what fishes. About you, man? I mean, you know, some of my favorites, I mean, I still love Fuck With Dre Day. I mean, just the beat, you know, just Snoop Dogg coming in, bow, wow, wow. Yep. You, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that whole entire easy track. E, easy and of course, e, the video too, just clowning easy. Dick. Um, that I mean, was just hilarious. that beef all together, you know, <laughs> rest, in peace to, rest in peace to Easy, of course, but, you know, he came back with real motherfucking G's, which yeah, is one of our favorite hard. tracks. Yeah, that shit goes hard as hell. I mean, it really does. It's the yeah. beat. Yeah, but, yeah that's uh, to the gym playlist. Calm, 10. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give Easy that. He did come back. But, I mean, yo, let's not forget about No Vaseline. I mean, oh, Cube, yeah. Cube went at all oh, of them yeah. first. All yeah. of them. All yeah. of them. All of them. And, and I'm winning he, hard. Yes. yes. And, and hard. Like, hard. If you no, watch, that's funny, no pun intended. What, uh, if you watch, is it, it's, I'm, I'm, for, I'm forgetting what documentary it is. It might be straight out of, con it might be the movie. Hmm. It's either, it's either straight out of, con no, it's fucking, um, the defiant ones. When, who's the who's the old girl that 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 Dre choked and slammed into the wall? Oh, um, the chick that used to host. Um, um, what's what's what is it? It's not Roxanne Chante. No. Know. So the point is this: <laughs> Matthews. So like, the no. point is this: they were interviewing um, NWA, and and then on the on the show when they aired it. After they interviewed NWA, they had they had a little Cube. clip from Cube where yeah. he's like, I want to send a shout out to the DOC. And he was just yeah. like lighting them up on that. And then Dre saw and then they her aired the it. next. They were so fucking mad. Easy was talking about like getting a gun and going and killing Cube and shit. Because Easy, you know, let's forget about everything else. I mean, Easy was a gangster. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just slanging right? them rocks. So then Dre was so mad when he saw <laughs> oh, what the fuck shit. is her name? I can't remember. He seen her ass, yoked her ass up, and slammed her into a wall and shit. And obviously, uh, you know, so 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 Cube came at them hard. Oh yeah, 
That's it, hands down. Yeah, that one's a a dub. Um, You know, I mentioned earlier the, you know, Boogie Down uh, Productions, the bridge is over. You know, one of the OGs as far as when it comes to battle raps. And, uh, you know. KRS won that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially against Juice Crew and MC Shan and Marley Marl and all them. It's a little before my time. Yeah. No, yeah. We're talking mid 80s there. You know, some honorable. (laughs) You know, showing our age a little bit. (laughs) Some honorable mentions uh, I got on here. You know, I got corrupt calling out names, you know, talking shit about Ja Rule, the firm, Foxy Brown. Um, Probably the only time I've ever heard a rapper actually diss the movie Belly. I didn't even think that was a thing. Mm. <laughs> they love it. I it's love that movie. movie. Everybody loves Everybody, that movie. Yeah. If you love hip hop, it's a terrible it. movie. It but I'm, not. it's not great. <laughs> like the acting is not. It's the acting's all, not the best. It's all rappers, <laughs> right? We gonna go to that? Africa, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I'm not but, saying this is the greatest movie of all time, but it's very rare to hear a rapper talk shit about deep, it. Son. <laughs> bone. What's the science? <laughs> I'm gonna have to drop a dime on him. I don't <laughs> like that banana. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a banana. But that, but that was the one that was Kane cocaine. Cocaine. Yep, that was hey, Kane. So there, there was one actor. In there. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do I got on here? Did you know there was a diss track that LL did against Ice T, MC Hammer, and Cool Modi? I did not know this. It came All out at the same time? West Coast, called right? to, uh, yeah, to it's the cool break of dawn. You know what? I think I've heard, I don't think I've heard it. Right. I didn't know that. But apparently he calls Ice-T a parking lot employee with a perm. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So I got I got a little bit of enjoyment from that. Well, what, who was Bop Gun at? That, that, was, uh, that was a diss track. Was it? I mean, I know he was covering George Clinton, Bob Gun. Bob Gun. No, nah, I feel like I feel like that he was dissing somebody on that. Ice Cube's gotten into it with a few people over the years, you though. Go back and listen. To <laughs> um, I mean, that's pretty much what I got. You know, of course, the Takeover. Yeah, as far as like the top three on the complex top fifty list, they got Takeover number one, Tupac hit him up at number two, and then mm-hmm. Ether at number three. Which I mean, I, to me, they is call definitely Takeover top number one. Three. Yeah, Takeover number one. I like what I love about Takeover, of course, not just the like lyricism, is is yeah. the beat though. Taking that sample from the Doors, I thought was was very very impressive. But to me, it seemed like it was, that was a, like just a sparring match where he knew when when he was going to come in with the heavy blows. He was just kind of like jab jab here and then coming in with the uppercuts. Instead of just coming out completely raw. And I mean, to me, well, he got two. You don't eat through on the first shot. You right. You jab. Right. Which granted, Ether. I mean, he Nas came back hard. This he won is, fucking around. That's, this is like still a debate <laughs> today. Right? Damn, super ugly was better than that. <laughs> when he came back, skeeted in your jeep, leaving condoms in the baby seat. When Jay heard Ether, he went up to Hot 97, went up to Funk Flex, and just spit a freestyle. Where he, said he was leaving condoms in the baby seat. Nas's you know? baby mama. Like that shit was harder than. It's so disrespectful. Was <laughs> it makes me so angry. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, hit him up. I mean, the song starts off. This is why I fucked your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hit him up. I mean, in my opinion, and he starts shooting names too. Oh, yeah. At the oh, end, yeah. at the end, but between listen, between hit him up and troublesome ninety six, Pac basically tells if you take him off the Mount Rushmore. The rest of the Mount Rushmore to go fuck themselves. <laughs> he talks about Jay Z. He talks about Nas. He talks right. about Big. I mean, he talks about Mob Deep. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think who else. That was I mean, a great just, reference. Look, hit him up. In my opinion, is when I first heard hit him up. I mean, obviously, I was young and I didn't realize it. But now, when I go back and I listen to it, when it comes on, like it makes it gives me anxiety, huh? Because it's so. Disrespectful. <laughs> it's very disrespectful. True. Very but true. First off, but in, yeah. yeah, first fuck off, fuck your bitch. Yeah. And, and the clicky claim. claim. Yeah. <laughs> you claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's just like, yeah. listen, you That's guys are so trash, I'm just going to let my little homie <laughs> break on you, Right? The utter disrespect um, on the track. And the thing is, who shot you wasn't even a diss track. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they yeah. it was it, they thought it was right, right, but it really wasn't right. So uh, I think, in my opinion, hit him up. I mean, I, listen, take over Ether. I mean, I, look, Nas. I love Jay Z. He's number one on any list that that I would ever create. I think histor. I think history has been very kind to Jay Z because his longevity. Nas hasn't made as many great albums. 
beyond his prime as Jay-Z has. So I think that history hasn't been as kind to Nas as it's been to Jay-Z. So it doesn't surprise me that Complex would kind of rate. Um, also, too, Jay-Z over. came out with more albums, too, for a long time period. Where Nas, it was like once every couple of years. Where I Jay-Z think that, was just pumping I think out. the takeover is I a great diss track. I don't think it's anywhere nearly as good as Ether. Right. Oh yeah. I think Ether is. is. I think there Ether is. is. Ether. I think Jay. Yeah. I, think, I think Nas. It's a new term. Yeah. Well, I, re- I read something today where it's like you never hear people say you got takeover. <laughs> you hear them you say you got Ether. That's right. Nas won the battle, but Jay. Jay's clearly won the war. Right. I mean, he's right. He is. He is the general. He is the commissioner of any. And I'm more than sure alliance. they got together just like this. Oh yeah. Before all yeah. of that. Oh yeah. I said this is going to go down. Yeah. This is how it's going to go down. Yeah, and at sure. the end of it all, we're. We're exactly. both going to come out on exactly. time. Exactly. And, and they, I mean, it's they entertaining. Did that black Republicans on, mm-hmm. uh, what album was that? It was on one of Jay's albums. Hip Hop is Dead. It was good, though. That was nice. Anyway. Hip Hop anyway. is Dead. Right? I think so. I got nothing else. I think so. Um, that's all I, I do want to touch on this, though. But back to you, you know, the Diddy and, um, you know, the accusations. You're about starting to that. think about that. Oh, right? yeah, no, no, I am. And then I don't know if you knew this, too. You knew that uh, Johnny Depp was supposed to, that movie was supposed to come out about the investigations yeah. to the big interview. And, yeah, yeah. and, 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 and they scrapped it like they two scrapped weeks it. So it it's, it's, Yeah, it's interesting how, you know, the stories aren't going to come out on this. Even movies are getting shut down. Or not shut down. They're not releasing them on this situation. Did you watch that FX show? I did not. How was that? I mean... Are you talking it wasn't about that good. Yeah. The, no, because it, I mean, you already know the end. The one right. soul dad, the soul dad, <laughs> right. Ryan and an iced tea. Did you see that? No, they actually made a show, right? So oh soul dad, yeah. Ryan and Ice T did like yeah. investigative reporting. It was like uh, it was like hard copy. Yeah, it was like hard copy. Hip hop version. Was on, it was like a three hour long special <laughs> yeah. that was on last year. But then I then they did the 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 series and I didn't watch it. But the series was very closely. Whatever it don't yeah. matter. I mean, <laughs> that's just. I, I think stay tuned. It'll be interesting. I don't think this is the last. Oh no, we're gonna see of, of any of this. I think no. I this think might, this might be episode one of many more to come. I hope. I think I want that to happen more there's, than yeah, it will exactly. happen. Yeah. But there's, there's too much money to be made on this. Thing. Oh yeah. There's too much money to be made. I mean, shit. Look, if if you blow this thing out, I mean, look. Snoop could get involved. Dre could get involved. I mean, fuck, Cube could get involved. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I mean, if you, you're, you're stretching, if, I'm just saying, <laughs> but detox <laughs> might come out. <laughs> I thought about that yesterday. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, ooh, maybe Dre's gonna drop detox. So everybody, stretching. everybody, yeah. get ready. The industry ain't ready for all this. <laughs> you know? I know I'm not. I'm just saying there there is opportunity. Oh yeah, I mean, just Big off of picture. Kill Shot. It broke the uh, previous record for as far as uh, 38.1 million downloads on YouTube for a hip hop song in 24 hours. In 24 hours. Yeah. So, so Colson's re- reasoning behind why it broke all those records is because yo, the champ got punched in the mouth. The champ got dropped. So everybody wanted. To, everybody he wanted. To, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Everybody wanted. Everybody drops. wanted to see the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a uh, fucking. I clown. hope MGK comes. You look back, like a bitch, bitch. I don't think he will. And then uh, apparently they did interview Joe Budden, and he says he's uh, retired. Oh my God. But we we will see what happens. He's in the fucking studio right now. <laughs> I did all... love Pump It Up when that shit came out. He, um, the first Joe Budden album was was good. Joe Budden's mixtapes are great. Yeah, and the mixtapes were the and best. And some of that yes. Slaughterhouse shit, Joe Budden was some yeah. of the best stuff on there. Yeah. He's just real emo. Yeah. I'm like, oh, she didn't call me back. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem, right? Like, Diddy doesn't have... Diddy doesn't have the crew... No. No. If, if you start like you know throwing the bat signal up in the air and, and your entire crew starts going to meet at the at the clubhouse like yeah like who's on bad boy Mace <laughs> <laughs> like who's coming Mace and um, and Black Rock. Black Rock, Black Rock. Black Rock. Black Rock. <laughs> you know whoa <laughs> you know like, I don't know so Not true true um, you know I think well we'll see what happens <laughs> I like it man and now a word from our sponsors.
Thank you for listening to another episode of Multi Pop Troll. Make sure you check us out on our website, www.multipoptural, as well as on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And you can listen to us on uh, whatever you listen to us on right now, but we're also on uh, <laughs> all iTunes, <of> uh, <laughs> YouTube, Spotify, all SoundCloud, streams. all the podcast stations. Put that shit on your and uh, we definitely want to get TV. some feedback for it uh, from you. From you know, let us know what some of your favorite uh, hip hop diss tracks are. You know, send us an email on the uh, contact us form on the website, or just shoot us a DM on social media. Till next time, later. Peace. Let's talk about it. Be sure to check out our website www.multipoptural, as well as on social media at Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, and Twitter. Yes! Yeah! Victory! And anger management? Fuck anger management.